Hey guys, Jason Martin here, commercial truck guy. Holy smokes! Commercial truck guy! Commercial truck guy! Once again, baby! Commercial truck guy here! Commercial truck guy! Here again, baby! Commercial truck guy, Platinum Chevrolet. I can marry him and bury him too. Commercial truck guy, once again! Platinum Chevrolet, Santa Rosa, California. Look at this custom creation beast of a tank thing I've got for you today. Come look at this. So I've got a four wheel drive, crew cab, another one, uh, contractor body, kind of beefed up a little bit. I'm gonna call it a concrete body. So I want you to take a look at this thing right here. This is a bad machine, I'm so excited. Now, if it does seem like this thing is extra tall, it's because it's a four-wheel drive. It is a little bit taller than the two-wheel drives. So, uh, as, as most of my videos have been done on the two-wheel drives because there's not many of these things floating around, but this thing just came in from Harbor. So, I'm so excited about this. This is a commercial truck guy custom build right here, folks. This is what I do. So, uh, amongst the obvious, the aesthetics here, boom. Love it. Alcoa's chrome, chrome. Got it going on. Uh, but I'm gonna state the obvious. Look at this rack. This rack has a basket on top. Now, I created this for the concrete guys. Uh, if anyone's got bags of concrete they need to stuff up there, boom, that's a perfect spot for it. It's not gonna slide around, move it around anywhere, and it leaves the, uh, the deck for some other products that you may need for the job. So take a look here. As usual, folks, we're gonna take a look inside. Uh, commercial truck guy loves ordering these things with power seats. Very few of my vehicles have them. Uh, as you can see here, the heavy duty black cloth that's in the LTs and the 10 way power seats on it. Uh, four wheel drive on the fly right here instead of uh, uh, down on the, on the floor panel. Now please note folks, just because you have four wheel drive on the fly right here does not mean you do not need to engage the four wheel drive on the hubs right here. So please note to self, four-wheel drive on the fly you still have to adjust the hubs on these things okay now that we got that clear uh, let's take a look at the rest of this thing so what I did this is a 60 inch cab to axle ratio which will put a 10 foot flatbed contractor body you name it on here so I did get a shorter uh, unit a little shorter wheelbase here um, so a 10 foot contractor body kind of beefed up as you can see I've got this other box up top right here so we've got our unit down here. As you can see, this is supported by chains because it drops down and prevents it from hitting something else. How's that gonna work up here? Oh, well, we've got a little bit different. We've got hydraulics up here. So boom, you've got plenty of space for your stuff, your work items, whatever you need. And you've also got your underbody box down here. So take a look, folks. This thing is like built to work, built to do the do. And because it's a four-wheel drive, again, we talk about the highway or we talk about the all-terrain tires. I opted to go this route because even though it's a four-wheel drive, I still can't get the highway tires. Uh, I just choose not to because most of the people that are getting the four-wheel drive want it for one reason, off-road. So take a look here. I've got aluminum drop-down sides as well. Again, saving some payload uh, and my aluminum deck. We've talked about this before here. Take a look. It's sturdy. It's got the rivets. Uh, it's ridged ready to rock and roll these parts drop down as well so you now you've got a work area now uh, as you can see this rock is kind of custom here uh, it does not go all the way to the back in here right it goes right behind the boxes it gives us plenty of room to put some here we've also got uh, a strap little hooks here so if we need to strap something up to the top right uh, uh, plywood, ivy, you name it. We've got these bad boys on both sides that can do so. Swing out rack, removable middles here, as you can see. Boom, you can take those things out and put them up front if you need to. Uh, this is a harbor deck here, as you can see. We've got the trailer, the plugs, and our receiver. And it's also got kind of a, I don't want to use the word grip tape because that's not what it is but it is a material that it's not slide. So if you're getting up here uh, and it's kind of early in the morning, you got to do, or it's raining because work guys, rain don't stop them. Uh, you're not gonna be slipping around everywhere. So uh, I've got a nice little headache rock. As you can see the spare tire. And again, the cut out there for your cargo lamp enclosure. Uh, that's really gonna light things up here because these uh, the sides are so tall and you kind of make things a little dark early in the morning or late at night. Um, again, so the harbor, Lots of marker lamps, safety first here, baby. I love it. All the lights on. 
another gorgeous looking commercial truck guy truck. Look at this thing. You ain't gonna see nothing like this on the road. I guarantee you. This is one of mine. So let's take another little tour. Uh, again, we've got the aluminum drop down gates. Again, I, I went that route for payload, all right? I went the aluminum deck for payload. It ain't gonna get you a thousand pounds, but it'll get you a couple hundred pounds. And since you work guys always overload your trucks anyway, every little bit that I can do on my end to help out is what I'm gonna do. I want you to take a little one around on this vehicle here. Again, I say it all the time, the Alcoas, how pretty they look. But you know what, I do, I'm kind of leaning towards them on certain vehicles more so than the painted black uh, tires that you see. They've also got some painted gray and painted white, which I haven't had any on the ground yet. Uh, I don't think I've even ordered those things. But take a look around, there's a 4500 again, four wheel drive, crew cab, work truck package. Not many of them out on the road, but I love that over top basket. This could also double up here. I know I said a uh, concrete body, but I know a lot of landscapers like contractor bodies too. And crew cabs get you guys to the job site. Instead of taking two vehicles, you got enough to be able to do the work. Uh, and since you can tow, you can bring like a little mini dump trailer with you. And I can see uh, uh, bag, debris bags up here as well. It's a good place to store them. So it's not just for concrete guys, but landscaper guys should take a look at this too. So again, Jason Martin, commercial truck guy, platinum Chevrolet, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for the notifications. The only way you're gonna know if these things, uh, if these videos hit is with that notification. So if you wanna be up on everything, the moment it drops, that's what you gotta do. Commercial truck guy, Platinum Chevrolet, let's get you into a truck making money for you soon. Thank you.